I am Mr. Obvious. Welcome to the jungle. Let's get our first take. Go. Uh, uh, Mr. Obvious? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Mr. Obvious, uh, mad props out to all my homies, and, uh, um, That's right, right call it. Come on, start the gloss. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, um, hey, hey, Mr. Obvious? Yes. You know, you know, I, I kind of miss the old show. Yeah, I, I do, too. Remember <laughs> how you used to do it? Yeah. You want to go back to the old show? Man, I sure would, Mr. Obvious. <laughs> Mr. Obvious Show. I am your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. Uh, hi, Mr. Obvious. Uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh-huh. <laughs> Boy, I can't believe I actually got through to you, Mr. O. Oh, it's no problem, caller. It can be difficult. Oh, you're telling me. For the first time I called, I got, I got a busy signal. Uh-huh. And then the second time I called, uh, the phone rang, but it took like eight seconds for yeah, somebody to answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, you sure are popular, Mr. Thank Obvious. Thank you, caller, very much. Uh, please, how may I help? Uh, well, Mr. Obvious, I'm afraid I I got a problem. It might even stump somebody uh, like you with your incredible intellect. Please, please, <laughs> I'm up to the challenge, uh, caller. What's the problem? <clears throat> well, Mr. Obvious, uh, see, I bought this cabin. Uh, it's up there in uh, Frigid Falls, Minnesota. Oh, yeah, good for you. Oh, it's it's fabulous. I got it got it back in uh, early December. Beautiful country up there, caller. Oh, you aren't kidding. Uh, but, M Mr. Obvious, it, it's not a separate country. See, Minnesota's a state. And, I mean, yeah, I, I, I know that, caller. <laughs> I was just... Never mind. What's your problem? <laughs> well, uh, like I was telling you, I got this cabin in December and uh, had a great time, you know, went up there the first time and, well, decided to go back again there in February. And, uh, man, it was just perfect. I, I love the great outdoors, Mr. Obvious. And uh, this cabin, I mean, this is my lifelong dream, you now, know. Now, do I detect a note of sorrow in your voice, caller? <sighs> you sure do, Mr. Obvious. <laughs> Man, you are some kind of perceptive. Did something happen to your cabin, <laughs> caller, please? <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. Uh, Mr. Obvious? Uh-huh. Somebody stole it. <laughs> Someone stole your entire cabin. Oh, apparently so, Mr. Obvious. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I went back up there this last weekend, and uh, it was gone. Now, caller, there must be some sort of logical explanation. An entire cabin can't just disappear. Well, I wouldn't think so, but uh, I, I sure as heck can't figure it out, Mr. Obvious. Caller, don't take offense, but are you sure you remember where your cabin is located? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Obvious. I'm real good with directions. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this. I was a, I was a navigator in the war. Which war, caller? Uh, you know, the, the big one, the one against uh, West Vietnam. Um, ca caller? Uh, yeah, Mr. Obvious. That, that was North Vietnam. Huh. Uh, I guess that explains the lack of anti-aircraft fire. <laughs> Please, uh, back to the cabin, caller. You went back to Minnesota this weekend. Right, right. And your cabin was gone? Uh, exactly. Any clues at all? Anything that anyone might have left behind? I, 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 sure, I sure didn't see anything. I just can't believe someone would dismantle and steal an entire cabin, caller. Uh, did you talk to anyone up there who might have seen anything? Well, I'll talk to one guy. Uh, he, he was out boating, uh, mm -hmm. he said he didn't see a thing. You said boating? Right. Is there a lake where your cabin's located? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Obvious. In fact, I was, I was going to go fishing in that lake. I, I figured with the warmer weather, I could finally get outside and do some fishing. Caller. Uh-huh? Did you fish at your cabin when you were there in February? Oh, I sure did, Mr. O. It was mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. uh, it caught me a big old mess of fish. You did, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. all, all I did, I, I cut a hole right there in the floor of my cabin. <laughs> and uh, there, there was fish swimming down there all over the place. Uh, <laughs> it was great. Uh, caller, uh, you, uh -huh. you cut a hole in the floor of your cabin, dropped the line, caught a fish? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, caller, did, did you see the lake in February? You know, that's the weird part, Mr. Obvious. Um, I, I didn't even know there was a lake there. You know, uh, in mm -hmm. February. Yeah. I, yeah, caller, how big was this uh, cabin of yours? Oh, it was, it was pretty small. I mean, uh, there was really just, just room for me and, you know, maybe one other guy, but uh, not, not much else. I've really. got, a, got a theory, caller. <laughs> well, what's that? Do you know where your uh, stupid cabin is? <laughs> well, no. That, that's why I was calling you to figure out where somebody would have taken my cabin. It's at the bottom of the lake, caller. You had a nice fishy cabin. You didn't cut a hole in the floor of the cabin. For Pete's sake, you cut a hole in the ice the cabin was sitting on. When the ice melted, your cabin sank. It's at the bottom, like the Titanic. It, it sank? Nah, it sank. <laughs> so what are, you, are you saying like it was built on quicksand or no, something? No, it's warmer weather. Water <laughs> melted. Your cabin is no more.
It's at the bottom of the lake. You were supposed to drag it off the ice when the weather started getting warmer. Ice fishing cabin? Yeah. Huh. Uh, I never made the connection. <laughs> yeah. Man, uh, that's a shame. I, I just bought a brand new living room suit for the place. Join us again next time. Not to even mention the big screen TV. <laughs> By the Mr. Obvious show. You reckon I could fetch it out of there? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>